world, right? We have a lot of connectivity. The connectivity can indicate that we have pervasive connectivity. We call it the ubiquitous computing. Maybe that everywhere. You can you, you don't have any boundaries. The geographical boundary we have called it. Okay, we don't have any boundaries in terms of communication. Of course, certain countries they artificially impose certain kind of uh, boundaries. Okay, we will discuss about that in a while. But essentially, the geographical boundaries of the world is, seems to be getting obliterated. It's not there anymore. Okay, because we are able to seamlessly communicate without any restriction to anybody in the world, the rest of the world. Okay, so that's actually giving us the power to communicate the things. So uh, having that kind of uh, tools available definitely change the world. So take an example of students like you. So can you compare the way you access the information today and the way people in access the information 20 years back? Have you ever thought about that? Can you imagine or have you read anywhere how the people used to access the information uh, when they were maybe 20 years back? Any idea? Books, of course, yes. So uh, there is a marked difference eh, between the way we done things 20 years back. This is 20 years is not a long ago. I mean, you when you were kids that time, it's not so long ago. So uh, it is not so much so far away from what we are not talking about the Stone Age or that kind of thing. It is just a, just a year, just a, it was just around the corner. It was not so far away. So things have changed, and the the, the important thing is that the communication technology, the information communication tools available to us, it's not only affecting only one aspect of life. Okay, it, it, it actually affects each and every walk of life. Okay, like what I mentioned here, employment, commerce, medicine, security, transportation, entertainment, everything. Everything has something to do with the new ICT world we develop. Do you agree with that? Is there any area you think that ICT is not involved? ICT and many as information communication tools. Any area? <coughs> Can't imagine. Eh? There may be some, but basically, in the toilet also we use them. <laughs> everywhere. It is everywhere. Okay, literally in that sense. Okay. Anyway, so things have changed. So uh, because of that same reason, uh, people always thought that a human being has been building as a society the society for thousands of years. It's not that yesterday we started with forming a family and this. We've been like this for so many years. But uh, some new system such as, okay, you go back to uh, maybe a century ago or a half, one and a half century back. We have this device. People invented the camera. You know camera? You know the digital camera? Normal celluloid. You know celluloid? What is it? Film thing. Okay. So when they invented the camera, people say that, okay, the privacy has been uh, uh, seriously impaired because people can take pictures. So that is the way people look at it, that and camera. Something like what we look at. And then we have the, uh, and after that, uh, close to the 19th century beginning or end of the 18th century, we have the telephone. So telephone, when first time come in, people also have the same thinking that they still fully respect our privacy. Because it is natural for the human being to live as a very private animal. I think we call it animal. We are very private animal. So the reason why the mobile phone becomes so successful is just that basic um, sense of human being to be private. Do you agree with that? I don't understand the question. <laughs> so what I'm asking you is that, right? When you, when you um, 15 or 20 years back, your house used to have maybe one fixed line phone, okay? When, and if you were to call that phone, then somebody will answer and somebody will pass the line to maybe your house or in the office or elsewhere. Do you have to go through that thing now? You don't have to, correct? <coughs> you can call anybody, you can call you anytime, and nobody knows who called you. It wants to be so. No? Yes. So, the nature of uh, uh, the way we live, and we want to be very private. So, the argument that people often face that the gadgets or technological innovations like cameras and mobile phones and the other phones has actually eroded our privacy. Do you agree with that? Did those devices really erode our privacy? <laughs> Looks like you left the talking thing at home. Next class, please bring it up. Okay. Next, next class, you must have the talking thing in the class and you can talk. No, no, I only heard the thing. 
Okay, so why am I? Yes, yes. Uh, what is your opinion, Ruben? What do you think? What? 